Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon Alexa and how to connect Amazon Alexa with your SmartThings devices. That's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. So you may not be aware of it, but SmartThings does work with Amazon Echo Echo Dot and Amazon Tap. When Amazon Alexa is connected to SmartThings devices, you may use your voice commands on your Echo Dot or your Fire Stick to instruct Alexa to control light bulbs, turn off and on switches, control dimmer switches, adjust thermostats, control door locks, and perform various routines that are configured with the SmartThings app. Alexa can also check the status of uh, motion and contact sensors. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you are a SmartThings user and that you've already installed the SmartThings mobile app on your Android device or your iOS device. If this is not the case, then you will need to download the SmartThings mobile app for Android or for iOS and create an account. I'm going to leave a link below on how to perform the SmartThings hub and sensor setup. This video also assumes that you own either one or more Amazon Alexa devices or an Amazon Tap. If you do not own these devices, you may be persuaded to purchase them after watching this video. If that's the case, I'll leave some Amazon Alexa device links in the description for your consideration. Once you set up your Amazon Alexa devices, you'll need to download the Amazon Alexa mobile app from the Apple App Store or the Android Play Store, and then you'll need to install it either on your iPhone or your Android device. There are a total of 12 steps to connect Amazon Alexa with SmartThings. For your convenience, I will leave these 12 steps in the instructions below. So to begin with, you need to install and open your Amazon app. Once you have your app open, you want to tap on the Smart Home menu. This home icon is in the lower bottom right of your Alexa app. You want to scroll to your Smart Home skills at the bottom of that app and you want to enable Smart Home skills. Next, you want to enter Smart Things in the search box uh, in order to search for the SmartThings app. Don't. Once you find that app, you want to enable it for SmartThings. You'll log in using either your Samsung or your SmartThings account information. And then you'll just simply tap on Log In. And then choose your SmartThings location in the From menu. This will be the name of your SmartThings device. Tap Authorize and be aware that you can limit the devices Alexa has access to later in your SmartThings app. Once uh, you've authorized Alexa, the following message will appear. It will say, Alexa has been successfully linked with your SmartThings. And then all it's left to do is to tap Done to begin device discovery. Okay, so those are the 12 steps that you need to do. Once those previous 12 steps are done, you can now give Alexa permission to access your SmartThings devices. Now your Alexa device needs to be able to discover or locate the devices, scenes, and routines that you have created. After closing the success message in the previous steps, the Alexa app will automatically direct you to Discover Devices. You simply need to tap Discover Devices. You will see a message stating that Alexa is discovering devices. A progress bar appears in the Alexa app while Alexa is looking for your SmartThings devices. This process can take up to 20 seconds. Once the device discovery is complete, all you need to do is click on Close. When Discovery completes, Discovered Devices will list under Devices and Scenes and Routines. In the Smart uh, Home section of the Amazon Alexa 
app, you will also see an add group message advising you to tap the uh, plus sign to add a group to control multiple devices at once. Now you're done with setup and ready to use Alexa's hand-free voice control for your SmartThings devices. You can do things like, say, Alexa, turn on and off the basement desk lamp, or Alexa, set my porch light lights to 90%. This controls the brightness and can be so you can select anywhere between 0 and 100. You can also say, Alexa, what is the temperature in my home? Or you can say, Alexa, what is the temperature in my garage or in my living room? You can ask it things like, Alexa, is the living room open? No! Other things you can do depend on the device list that you have. You can say, check if the back door is locked, set kitchen thermostat to 70 degrees. You can also turn on various routines. Routines are simply uh, groups of devices uh, to which changes occur whenever you tell Alexa to run the routine's name. For instance, you may have a routine called Good Morning where you have set up a number of smart devices to operate like opening your blinds and turn on several lights, start the coffee pot, and give you the news briefing uh, in the morning. And you can just prompt this by saying, Alexa, run Good Morning. Your Alexa devices can elevate your SmartThings devices to a whole new level of automation. These devices uh, from Alexa are relatively inexpensive and quite practical. If you're interested in sourcing price and product information, I will provide some links uh, in the instructions below. If you use these links to make a product purchase, I will receive a small commission as an Amazon affiliate, but be assured this in no way increases the cost of your purchase, and any money that I gain from your purchase helps compensate me for the time, effort, and cost in making these how-to videos. I appreciate your support. I want to encourage your comments and ask if uh, you could subscribe to my channel, assuming that you haven't already done so. I will be doing many more videos on various routines that you can do with your smart things. And if you'd like to be notified of this uh, upcoming content, you want to be sure to click on that notification bell when you subscribe. Thanks for watching today. I trust you found this information useful. If so, please give me a like on this video and drop me a comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.